afternoon everyone. Today's story is Alma and I thought this might fit in with our RE because it was about people feeling left out and about people feeling different and how we need to make them feel welcome. So I thought this would fit in well with the story. I apologise for the curtains and the light behind me children. It's not that it's dark, it's I had to close the curtains because the, the sunlight was blinding me when I was trying to read. Right, Alma. There was once a herd of elephants. Elephants young, elephants old, elephants tall or fat or thin. Elephants like this, that or the other. All different but all happy and all the same colour. All that is except Alma. Alma was different. Alma was patchwork. Alma was yellow and orange and red and pink and purple and blue and green and black and white. Alma was not an elephant colour. It was Alma who kept the elephants happy. Sometimes he joked with the other elephants, sometimes they joked with him. But if there was even a little smile, it was usually Alma who started it. night Alma couldn't sleep for thinking and the thing that he was thinking was that he was tired of being different. Whoever heard of a patchwork, patchwork elephant he thought. No wonder they laugh at me. In the morning before the others were really awake Alma slipped quietly away unnoticed. As he walked through the jungle Alma met other animals. They always said, good morning Alma. Each time Alma smiled and said, good morning back. After a long walk, Alma found what he was looking for, a large bush. A large bush covered with berries. A large bush covered with elephant coloured berries. Alma caught hold of the bush and shook it and shook it so that the berries fell to the ground. Once the ground was covered in berries, Alma lay down and rolled over and over, this way and that, way and back again. Then he picked up bunches of berries and rubbed himself all over, covering himself with berry juice until there wasn't any sign of any yellow or orange or red or pink, or purple, or blue, or green, or black, or white. When he had finished, Alma looked like any other elephant. After that, Alma set off back to the herd on the way. He passed the other animals again. This time, each one said to him, Good morning, elephant. And each time, Alma smiled and said, Good morning, pleased that he wasn't recognised. When Alma rejoined the other elephants, they were all standing quietly. None of them noticed Alma as he worked his way to the middle of the herd. After a while, Alma felt something that was wrong. But what? He looked around, some old jungle, same old bright sky, same old round cloud that came over from time to time, and lastly, some old elephants. Alma looked at them. The elephants were standing absolutely still. Alma had never seen them so serious before. The more he looked at the serious, silent, still, standing elephants, the more he wanted to laugh. Finally, he could bear it no longer. He lifted his trunk at the top of his voice. He shouted, The elephants jumped and fell, always in surprise. Oh my gosh and golly, they said. 
and they saw Almas, sorry, they saw Alma helpless with laughter. Alma then said, it must be Alma. Then the other, the other elephants laughed too, as they had never laughed before. As they laughed, the rain cloud burst, and when, when the rain fell on Alma, his patchwork started to show again. The elephant still laughed as Alma was washed black to normal, back to normal. Oh, Alma, gasped an old elephant. You've played some good jokes, but this has been the biggest laugh of all. It didn't take you long to show your true colours. We must celebrate this day every year, said another. This will be Alma's day. All elephants must decorate themselves and Alma will decorate himself as an elephant colour. This is exactly what the elephants do. On one day a year, they decorate themselves as a parade. On that day, if you happen to see an elephant ordinary, an elephant colour, you will know it must be Alma. This is the elephants and after they've decorated themselves. Right, I hope you enjoyed that story, children. It's time for you to go and have your dinner now and relax. See you tomorrow. Bye.